Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show how to do a dashboard in Tableau. It's a follow-up video to another one where I have um, analyzed, uh, visualized a file containing a list of edits for two different Wikipedia articles, um, which is what you see here. I have visualized it as timelines, as a list of contributors with the top contributors on top, like this guy the top contributors, uh, has made 93 contributions to either of these uh, articles and as a map. And what I want to sh show now is that you know, when you have multiple visualizations like that, you can make a dashboard. A dashboard, it's, it, it's a combination of visualizations. You can create them as a new kind of tab in Tableau, the same way you, you created your uh, worksheets, your visualizations, you can create a dashboard. You can also create a story. I'm not going to tell you about that. Uh, and then you can drag and drop your different visualizations from this part here on the left of the screen to the dashboard itself. Uh, I could put many things, but let's keep things simple because as you understand, it can get uh, pretty busy visually. So. The purpose of the dashboard is to allow you to cross-filter, um, to, to inquire into your data from multiple angles, leveraging the different kinds of visualizations you have crafted. So for instance, here, uh, the timelines embody the angle of time, of course, and the list of contributors would kind of look into who is doing the, the contributions. And now we can ask a question across the two by cross-filtering. So in the dashboard, if you want to cross-filter, you have to activate the ability of one of those visualizations to filter the other ones. So you have to click in there and then to click on this little funnel here. And when you do that, your visualization filters down the others. So if I click on this user, I'm going to filtering down this visualization. And it works also, and it may also work at the same time, on this part. So now I could look into what happens at this moment in this article. And now I can see who has contributed to these edits the most. Right? The topic I need to address now is how to adapt your visualizations for the dashboard. Because as you can see, if you want to see many things at the same time, you probably have to compromise. So the first piece of advice I have for you is maybe you have to duplicate your visualizations so that you can keep them uh, as good visualizations for a full page if you need to. But then you can have a, a version that is narrowed down so that you can have more things uh, at the same time in the dashboard. Let me give you an example of that. We're going to work the, this one. So I'm going to right click, duplicate. And this is going to be uh, the version for the dashboard. So if I go back to my dashboard, I can remove this guy and instead put the... Oops, I removed the, the wrong one. My bad. Uh, yes. And now I can change this to have it more compact. So I don't pretend I'm going to do very good decisions, but maybe I can just remove the bars. That's not great, but... Let's do it anyways and remove the articles. At least it's, it's now just a list and maybe it's better for the sake of space in the dashboard. So now maybe I can put that uh, into a smaller space and maybe this allows me to get the map here. Right, you know how to compromise. Another uh, thing that you may have observed is that I have this color code of having in blue one kind of article and the other article in orange. This is not enforced in this one. so. Now that we have all the things at the same time, we probably also have to do these kind of modifications. Well, you should expect to have this kind of rework to do. But uh, yeah, that's it. Besides that, enjoy the dashboards.